You all know the story of Newton and the apple, don't you? There he was, the uh, apple was on the tree, fell to the ground because of gravity. When people first heard this theory, the critics said, well, it's all very well, this, Isaac, but, you know, you, you, you've got this thing called force. I mean, he might have called it spirit or ghosts. It's an invisible thing. You, you can't identify the force. You can't, you can't see it. You can't identify it in any way. He just said, oh, there's this force, and it's acting at a distance. People said, well, this is just mystical. And they had a further criticism. And their criticism was, well, there's a whole load of apples on the tree that don't fall to the ground. And you all know from the way we were taught at school, you know the answer. There's an equal and opposite force in the branch that is holding it there. And they said, but wait a minute, you say that there's this invisible force which accounts for the movement of the apple, and then any counterexample we give you, you just say there's another invisible force. And there's a sort of certain circularity to that. Well, I think that is exactly how it is. And in fact, I would argue one of the reasons that the Newtonian framework is so successful is because it's got a very quick way of providing an explanation of where it doesn't work.